We are delighted that as a result of this project and in partnership with Wakefield Civic Society, two new blue plaques are to be unveiled, driving forward the Forgotten Women of Wakefield project ambition of blue plaque gender parity for Wakefield by 2028, the centenary of the 1928 Act, which gave equal voting rights to men and women. I'm looking at one of the two blue plaques we're going to be unveiling today. These plaques are a continuation of our Forgotten Women of Wakefield series that we've been working on with Dreamtime Creative. I'd like to share with you a few things about Mary Frances Heaton. She was born in 1801 to a very wealthy family actually, but unfortunately she was born into the shadow of madness. And the thing that really pulls at my heartstrings, because she's so different from many of our other forgotten women of Wakefield, is that nobody listened to her. After realising that the local pastor wasn't going to pay her or had no intention of paying her, she called him out in church and she called him all sorts of names that immediately put her in the category of being a blasphemer. Now women that blasphemed were seen as being mad. At that point poor Mary's story and her fate were sealed. She was sent to the Wakefield Pauper's Lunatic Asylum. She died around the age of 80 in Sheffield and she's buried in an unmarked pauper's grave. I'm here today to one of the blue plaque and honour Mary Frances Heaton for the struggle that was her life. She was classed as insane. She wasn't insane but ended up that way at the hands of men. Mary is the 13th plaque in the Forgotten Women of Wakefield series and so it is with the greatest honour that I would like to unveil this blue plaque. Lady Catherine boasts an impressive list of achievements that include being a champion of social justice, one of the country's first female magistrates, founder and president of Yorkshire's first St John's Ambulance Brigade, and the author and playwright of nine published books. Until now, her achievements and contributions have been largely forgotten in the city where she dwelled for a large part of her 43-year marriage. Small traces of her can be found in Wakefield on information boards and books about Thorns Park. However, none of them allude to the extraordinary life she led. Lady Catherine, you are no longer forgotten. For her work in our town, for her never-ending fundraising efforts for the poor and disadvantaged, Lady Catherine's contributions to our society must never be forgotten. And so, it is with the greatest pleasure that we gift her this token of our appreciation in honour of her work. Oh, thank you, yes. Thank you. Lady Catherine is the 12th plaque in the Forgotten Women of Wakefield series and so it's with the greatest honour that I'd like to present this blue plaque to Lady Catherine Mills Gaskell to the people of Wakefield and I look forward to viewing it in the Rose Garden at Thorns Park.